How's it going everybody? It's the Sketch Funky here with a brand new video for you. We got Rosie right here chilling and also Jules right over there. And they're very excited about this video as you can tell. Now this video is going to be a little bit different. I'd like to ask you as you know in my videos if there's something specific that you need help with. And this time Ashuku is not gonna let me off the hook easy because he suggested me to sketch planes, helicopters and tanks and I've never done that before so this was really challenging but at the same time it was a lot of fun because as soon as you have a challenge you always learn something new. So we're gonna use some warm grey, I think I used some warm grey markers in this and obviously the big pen to just get started and let's see how it goes. These are the tools that I'm gonna be using for this sketch, actually it's just four or three uh, warm grey markers. And the thing here, it doesn't matter, as I always say, what brand you're using, as long as they're alcohol-based, you can always blend them together. I'm also using a fine liner, but this has a brush tip, so it's flexible, and of course, the big pen. Now, as I said before, I've never sketched a tank before, so how do you go from this to this? Well, it's pretty simple, actually, and I'm gonna show you how right now. First of all, we need a, we need a few reference pictures, so just Google the thing you're going to be sketching and then pick out a few images that kind of speaks to you and where you can see the shape of the object that you're sketching. And then the key is to, um, to kind of block it out into uh, geometries, as I've been talking about before. Now, I, I've, as I said, I've never sketched a tank before, so I got to figure out here what kind of geometries are in this shape. So for me, this one, this is one geometry right here, which is this. Um, you could basically make this into a triangle like this. And the second part is this box down here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make it as a box. And this is in perspective as well. So I'm just going to extend it over here. And also do the same thing actually with the uh, pyramid up here. So just extend it like this. And from here, we have our, uh, our basic shape. Everything gets a lot easier when you see it like this. When you kind of block it out first and not overwhelm yourself with all the details. Uh, you know, thinking about all these wheel wheels or uh, circles and how, how you're going to be sketching these. That comes later and that always works itself out if you start by doing this. All right, so let's get into the sketching part, the fun part of this video. Uh, I'm using marker paper this time, and as I showed you before, I'm using only a few markers. Uh, we're gonna be using three warm grays, so warm gray three, five, and seven to start with. But first of all, we need to put down the uh, geometries for this shape, which we did in uh, Photoshop earlier. So we just wanna Kind of get that down, get the basic proportions and uh, perspective down. And I'm using the big pen, of course, to do that. I'm not thinking about line weight at this point. Right now, I just want to put down the lines kind of to help myself figure out this shape. And especially, this this is especially important if you haven't sketched the thing before, because you kind of don't know yet where the shadows and the highlights are going to hit. And obviously, the tank is also a, a matte object. So when we get into the markers, we're not going to be using a lot of reflections and... Uh, highlights, white highlights and uh, stuff like that. We're pretty much just gonna make it a matte kind of gray surface. Once the basic proportions are down, you can start by adding some details. And in this case, I'm adding some wheels and adding some details to those wheels. There's, I was surprised by how many circles you have to sketch when you're sketching a tank. There's a lot of wheels and uh, wheels inside of the wheels. So if you're ever sketching a tank, this is a pretty good exercise for doing circles. 
and we're jumping into the markets right now as you know i like to uh 90 of the time start with the lightest marker that i have simply because it gives me an opportunity to adjust as i go and if i use a dark marker it's kind of hard to fix that if you make any mistakes so i'm using a warm gray three here just to fill out some simple uh, shading and some start to fill out the details. And right here, I'm jumping into the second layer of marker. This is warm gray five, just to emphasize the shading on the darker spots of this Sherman tank and uh, to get some more depth into this sketch. The request from Ashuki was to keep it. He, he said he's sketching dynamically right now, and that's what I'm trying to do here. To me, that means not doing too many details and kind of keep the speed up. And instead of, for example, sketch every single link in the chain of this uh, uh, tank, I, I just like to kind of visualize that there are several parts to this uh, band, if you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. And I do that by doing this with the markers. So I'm just dotting them out instead of, you know, spending a lot of time just putting all the details into one into each single link and this is actually the way i prefer to sketch to me it makes more sense to just visualize and and uh, help the brain just enough so that you can still figure out what it is without having to put all the single uh, tiny links and details into the sketch I like to put some ground shadow to all my sketches because that's going to make the object that you're sketching feel more planted and not make it look like it's actually just floating in mid space or something. You want to have some weight to your sketches and you do that by obviously shading, line weight and of course adding some uh, ground shadow or reflections underneath the product that you're sketching. Pretty much final touches now before actually we're gonna make some uh, some details now with the big pen. So I'm just adding a few bolts and nuts and stuff like that to uh, just bring up the level of details. I'm still keeping it very, very loose and I'm using my uh, brush tip fine liner here to uh, get some black parts in this sketch. As you know, I like to keep uh, I like to use full black and 100% white in all my sketches just to bring up the contrast and that's what I'm doing right here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add the star on this sketch but I decided to go for it anyway. So I'm doing that with a white pen just to bring out the um, outline of this sketch I'm going to use my white ink pen to fill it out completely and make it pop right here. And to finish everything off, I'm just going over everything again with the big pen. I do this because, as you know, 
Markers tend to bleed sometime and mess up the big lines, so you kind of want to go back as a final touch with the big pen to sharpen everything up. And I think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions that I missed or something you want to, um, you know, dive deeper on in this sketch, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to try and help you out with whatever your, your question is. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, first of all, welcome. I hope you like this kind of content. Feel free to browse the channel, all the videos that I have, and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. I'm the Sketch Monkey, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.